Hey there, gardening enthusiasts. Are you ready to add a burst of color and fragrance to your patio or balcony? Today, we're diving into the world of carnations, also known as dianthus, are beautiful flowering plants that thrive in containers. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to plant carnation seedlings in containers for maximum blooms. The first step in planting carnation seedlings is selecting the right container. Opt for a container that is at least 6 to 8 inches deep to accommodate the roots comfortably. Ensure the container has drainage holes to prevent waterlogging which can be detrimental to carnations. Carnations prefer a slightly acidic soil with a pH between 6.0 to 7.0. Next, fill the container with good potting soil leaving some space at the top for the seedlings. Carnations prefer well-draining soil. Add some compost or aged manure to enrich the soil and improve drainage. This combination ensures good drainage while providing adequate nutrients for healthy growth. Mix well the added aged manure or compost into the soil. This will provide essential nutrients, improve soil structure, and promote healthy root development. Now, let's get to planting. Using your hand gently create a small hole in the soil to provide a cozy space for the delicate carnation seedling. Gently put the seedling into the designated hole taking care to avoid any disruption to the delicate root system. It is crucial to handle the seedling with precision and caution to promote healthy growth and development. After carefully placing the seedling into the hole gently cover it with soil to ensure its stability. Press down lightly on the soil around the base of the seedling to secure it in place. This will help the seedling establish its roots and thrive in its new environment. It's important to be mindful of how tightly you pack the soil as this can have a major impact on the growth of your plant's roots. Soil that is packed too tightly can restrict the ability of the roots to spread out and establish themselves properly. This can ultimately stunt the growth of the plant and lead to a less healthy and vibrant garden. So when working with soil be sure to handle it with care and avoid compacting it too much. Allow room for the roots to breathe and grow freely for optimal plant development. When planting multiple seedlings in a container it is important to space them evenly to allow for proper growth. Aim to place the seedlings about 6 inches apart from each other ensuring they have enough room to develop without overcrowding. This spacing will give each plant the opportunity to access sufficient sunlight, water, and nutrients for healthy growth. Adding a layer of mulch around the carnation seedlings will help retain moisture in the soil, regulate temperature, and suppress weed growth. This simple step can make a significant difference in the overall health and growth of your young plants. Choose organic mulch such as shredded leaves or straw to provide a natural source of nutrients as it breaks down over time. Give the seedlings a good watering to settle the soil and hydrate the roots. Water regularly, keeping the soil evenly moist but not waterlogged. Carnations prefer slightly drier conditions once established. Place the container in a location that receives at least 6 hours of sunlight daily, preferably in the morning sun and afternoon shade. Apply a balanced, water-soluble fertilizer every 2-3 to three weeks during the growing season. Use a fertilizer with a higher phosphorus content to promote flowering. By following these simple tips and providing the right growing conditions, you can enjoy a vibrant display of carnation blooms in your containers all season long. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below if you found this video helpful. Happy gardening!